Hello and welcome to Glowworm. In this tutorial I'm going to explain you how to wire up the Mego Smart Control. Firstly you need an eBus connection going to the appliance so you can talk to the actual Smart Control. The eBus connection is just here, always pierce the grommet coming into the appliance so it remains a room to the appliance, that's vital. Now I'm going to get to the PCB and this is the eBus cable here which is 0.75mm cable and the terminal is simply labelled bus. When you purchase your smart control you receive a manual, power supply, batteries, your gateway and your room thermostat along with various options to mount on the wall or freestanding. Now I'm going to install the gateway for the smart control. So the template is already installed, now I'm going to connect the power supply, hooking it in the clips provided, turning it through, back to the wall so it's nice and neat. Now it's time for the e-bus, the e-bus is what we use to communicate with the appliance, hook it in, I'm going to fit the bracket over the top to keep it secure. The Mego control can be set up safely and securely with or without the homeowner. You will need to download the app and sign up. If the homeowner is unavailable, it's best to set up a temporary password, which the homeowner will then have to change. The app will then prompt you to check that the gateway is switched on. Then it will ask you to press and hold the button on top of the gateway, as illustrated on the app. Once the blue light on the gateway starts flashing, then click next on the app. The app will then search for the gateway which will be displayed as heating gateway. Select the gateway and then it's time for you to log out for the homeowner to log in. Connect to the internet and fill out the questionnaire for their personal heating preferences. For more technical information subscribe to our YouTube channel.